Hello, I'm Martin Van Brames, and today I'm going to be demonstrating reefing on this bar 37. We're en route today from the Cape Fear River off of North Carolina to Charlotte or Charleston, South Carolina. This boat has single line reefing, so uh, you'll see me just pulling in a single line, which is on the port side directly behind me, as I lower the main halyard, which is on the starboard. To start off with reefing, you always loosen from the back forward. So first, I'm going to release the main sheet here until the sail's just about to start luffing. Uh, that looks pretty good there. Then I'm also going to release the boom bang here a little bit. And I'm going to release the boom brake, which is also free up now. Next, I'm going to start lowering the halyard as I pull in on the single line reefing. If this boat had two line reefing, I'd first pull in the forward reef line and then the aft. Always tighten from the front back, loosen from the back forward. Again, single line reefing, so I'm just going to be pulling in on this single line that's pulling in both the forward and the aft reef. Well, I'm going to stop the halyard and lock it off once the forward reef wrinkle is about 18 to 20 inches above the boom. So right now I'm pulling in lots of line. There's a lot of line to pull in with single line reefing. So there, I'm about 18 inches above the boom, so I'm going to walk off the main halyard here. Now I'm winching in the reef line to get the last part of it in. Doing a quick close up, you can see how our forward reef line is about a foot above the boom when we're reefed. I don't like to pull it much closer than that. That's all you need to do. You can see from this side how the lines are keeping the sail on the boom. And we'll walk around to the other side. And again, you can see we've got a nice flat sail, which is what we're looking for. Uh, we've got a beautiful bottlenose dolphin swimming underneath the boat right now. It just took off. One last little video sequence here of the uh, sail sitting on top of the boom. You can again see how the Dutchman control lines are keeping the sail on the boom so no need for the intermediate reef points. Here's some footage of the VAR 37 shot in about 30 knots of wind. You can see right now we're doing about 12 knots. Now we're down to 9. Back up to 11, 12, 13, 5, 13, 8, 14. We've had it up to 15. So it's a uh, nice windy day, about 30 knots of wind, and uh, we are making very good time heading down the Chesapeake Bay. Again, note the sail is flat and properly restrained on the boom without any intermediates, allowing you to reef from the cockpit no need to go forward. We reef this sail in 30 knots, well on a beam reach. You don't need to head up either. We are sailing in the Gulf Stream just to the east of Key Largo. Um, and we've got about 23 knots of wind true. Apparent wind is uh, 27, 28 knots, and uh, we're going to go and take a look at the mainsail now. You can see the mainsail reef in uh, typical uh, heavy weather sailing conditions.
again, you can see our Dutchman lines, which are keeping the sail well constrained on the boom. We hope you enjoyed our video, and please contact us. If you have any questions, you can reach us via our website, which is dutchmar.com, D-U-T-C-H-M-A-R.com, for more information. Thank you.